Hello there, I'm Black Bright, and if it's the first time you are visiting my channel, then welcome. I tend to talk about a variety of subjects, mostly to do with day-to-day -day things. I tend to simplify complex material, so I use layman terms. It's just natural for me. I personally don't like complicated language, so I tend to simplify it for other people who don't like it either. So, um... Today, I wanted to talk about the DWP, accessing our medical records. Now, it seems as though as long as you claim universal credit or any welfare benefit, you are giving up your human rights to privacy, which is Article 8. You might as well say goodbye to your human rights if you are claiming any aspect of universal credit. At the moment, they're talking about health. If you want to claim for disability or sick leave, they want to have access to your national health medical records. Now, to me, that is total overkill. What's happened to the letter that the GP normally sends to the DWP evidencing whatever is wrong with you? What's wrong with the medical certificate? Or the sick note. What is wrong with that? They're now saying that to combat fraud, or they use all these key words, to combat fraud, to make it easy and quick for the claimant, we need to access their medical records to, to make sure that what they're saying in their claim form is correct. What a load of bull! Number one, our medical records are legally codified. Our medical records are confidential, they're personal. When we talk to our GPs and when our GPs record any information, we do that on, a, on the basis of trust with our GP or whichever professional clinician we speak to. We do not disclose that information thinking that sometime in the future, the DWP, just because they want to snoop around and do whatever it is they need to do, access your medical records? Now, that is totally inappropriate. Now, what they're saying is that you, they absolutely need your informed consent. Now, your informed consent is that they're going to say, oh, look, we need you to sign this document and the reason why we need you to sign this document is to is just to verify that what you're saying about your health is true is that okay that is what they call informed consent now if you say i feel uncomfortable about that they'll probably say oh well you know we really need to ask if you want this process to go through quickly and easily this is what we need to do. We cannot guarantee that we're going to give you any benefits if you don't um, agree to this process. It's fine if you don't agree. You, we don't need, you know, we do need your informed consent. So if you don't agree, that's absolutely fine. But you might, you must realise that this is a part of the process. And if you want your benefits, so in other words, emotional blackmail, institutional, inter institutional bullying. That's what's going on. Because these vulnerable people who are desperate, they're going for universal credit because they're desperate, are in the end going to say, oh God, you know, in their heads, I need the money. I don't want them to see my records, but I need my money. I need to get this thing processed. I'm desperate. So, oh yes, okay, officer, or whoever they, whatever they call them, you have my consent. That's not informed consent. That's bullying somebody into giving consent. Not overt bullying, covert bullying. That's what that is. And it's not right. They shouldn't, nobody should be in a position where they have to consent to their medical records being seen unless it's to cause, unless it's to prevent them causing harm to themselves or harm to another person. Those are the only reasons why 
you know, maybe in a court case, if there's been abuse in the relation, you know, in the relationship and somebody has been physically abused and they want to prove that they've gone to the doctor to verify what happened to them. That is totally different. But for an entitlement claim, so you can claim benefits, they want to access your medical records. That is not right. I mean, you've got human rights activists um, talking about it. But like I said, you know, that is why they want to get out of the EU so they can do what they like. So they can take away all your human rights. That is what they're aiming for. And they're already putting systems in place in readiness for this to for this to happen. You go to your GP. That's it. If you have to, if you need money desperately, universal credit desperately, you're at their mercy. They will get informed consent, but it will be because you have no other choice, because you want the money. They have something that you want. So, of course, you're going to bloody consent. It's so, ah, oh, what can I say? What was I going to write down here? Is there anything? Oh, yeah, they're talking about it's to root out fraud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I've said everything, actually. Oh, yeah, I was just going to say as well, you know, you know, with the um, when they was talking about the hostile environment policy, it's all a part of the same thing, really, because when they was talking about um, they were looking for illegal immigrants, they um, established networks with the NHS, with the banks, with DVLA, that's the licensing company um, organization. Um, NHS, I don't know what, you know, to make sure they weren't employing anybody who, who is illegal and the bank, so they, they weren't opening up accounts with people who were illegal, with the driving license place, so they weren't giving licenses to anyone who's illegal, they were doing it with the rent and the landlord, so they weren't renting places to people who were illegal. Yeah, okay, but don't, don't overstep it, love. Don't try and get into people's medical records. That is totally inappropriate. You need to take that, um, because they're so deceitful, themselves probably, because they say they treat people how they are themselves, so bloody devious, they think everybody else is devious. What should suffice is a doctor's note, or you make a request to the GP, this individual is claiming that they have had an accident. We need to know whether or not they've had physiotherapy, whether or not they've been checked, whether or not they've been attending your um, your surgery, how often they've been attending it on that specific ailment or disability. You can't have blanket uh, access to medical records. I don't think they'll get it anyway, to be honest. I really don't think they'll get it. But they're going to try damn hard and they are going to use this fraud business. But I don't think, I don't think that the NHS can do that. I don't know what will happen if we leave the EU and we're no longer under the Human Rights Act. I don't know what will happen then. I don't know if the NHS or clinicians will be bound then. But for now, while we're protected by the EU and the GDPR, you know, you can definitely say no. But like I said, what is the risk? You say no, you're desperate for money. What are you going to do? Oh, God help us, mate. I tell you, this ain't an easy life at all. And that's all for now.